Thanks for staying with us. We continue now with our Startup Nation segment where we find new innovators in Israel's tech ecosystem. This time, Homegrown XJet, the 3D metal printing company, recently raised $25 million. Here's more from Daniel Roth. 3D printing has been at the top of the tech agenda for the past few years, and advancements have been keeping pace. Now XJet, a 10-year-old Israeli company based in a town near Tel Aviv right next to the world-class Weizmann Institute for Science, is pushing it forward with their foray into 3D printing of metals. We're developing for many years already uh, metal printing um, from, from manufacturing, uh, with a manufacturing approach um, and uh, uh, we bring to the market real metal, standard metals, uh, printed in 3D printers. The company's unique addition to the game is that it has built a process for metal printing and has filed more than 50 patents that are pending or registered. The technology, which helps engineers and designers break new ground in precision, seems poised to have an impact on industries from medical technology to specialty cars and from aerospace to handheld tools. In metals, there are some 3D printers but they involve a very industrial process with limited capabilities that exist for the last uh, decade or two. This system uh, creates a totally new level of usage for the engineer when it comes to the creation of new parts. XJet's founder built Objet, which merged with Stratasys and is now the biggest 3D printing company in the world with an annual billion dollars of revenue. And while the technology is impressive, it's the people and their work histories that attracted managing partner and founder of the Catalyst Fund, Yair Shamir, to invest in their $25 million round. My major, major, major uh, factor for making an investment in a company is the people that are leading the company and the people who develop the things and so on. So for us, and I'm talking not just for myself, for Catalyst as a philosophy, we're investing in people. As this team works to build these machines, XJet seems poised to be at the forefront of a shift that is having a profound impact on what is possible in design and in access to material goods. On set now for further insight, we are joined by Edward Kuckerman, founder and managing partner of Catalyst Investments. Thank you so much for being with us today. Hello. Well, your investment company made a considerable investment in this unique Israeli 3D printing company. Tell us what led to this decision. Well, the 3D printing industry is revolutionizing the production and manufacturing industry in many sense. But what is very unique with Igjet, the company we invested in, is that they are coming with uh, 3D printing for the metal industry. So we can produce not only prototype, as typically the other players were doing, but also final product, industrial product, whether it's for the cutting tool industry, molding industry, for any type of application where you need a metal. It can be platinum, silver, or tungsten carbide. Indeed, that is an excellent point because I do believe many of our viewers have seen a lot of plastics, not so much the metals coming out of this space at the moment. So that does seem like a new direction that we're seeing with the market. But what factors do you consider when looking to make an investment? So obviously we look at disruptive technologies. Uh, we were the only Israeli venture fund that invested in Mobileye when there were a lot of players in the industry, but they were the only one that came with disruptive technology, which enabled them to have the automatic pilot function that you have today when a company like a uh, car manufacturer like Tesla or Google Car using the Mobileye technology. So we are coming with this company, Zigjet, with something that is disruptive because we, we will be able to produce and manufacture and product in metal, in any type of metal with high quality, high precision. And this is done with the ink. So a regular ink, but just ink that produce metal. Wow. Sounds like magic. Yeah. Well, is. what is unique about looking for investments here in the startup nation? How is it different from other places that, that you seek investments? I think what is amazing is that Israel is a country of entrepreneurs. So we are always amazed by the amazing ideas that we're exposed to. I've been investing in technology companies since 1993. And every year, there are thousands of new companies building, built, uh, uh, created in Israel. Uh, we found that more recently, what is really impressive is that we see uh, entrepreneurs that are coming and say, we're able to sell our end product 
to the final customer. And especially because of the internet revolution, in the past, entrepreneurs were considering to sell through OEM, or original equipment manufacturer. They had to reach an agreement with Apple, with any type of uh, player, whether it's HP or it's uh, uh, Cisco, and they were not selling to the end customer. Now, an Israeli company through the internet is challenging the consumer by serving directly the consumer, and Ijet will be able to do that directly to the consumer, providing a product to the consumer. And you mentioned these big tech giants like Apple, like HP, and that mm. brings to light a company like Google, which made that huge $1 billion acquisition of Waze just in 2013, a couple years ago. How has mm. that shifted uh, the, the situation here on the ground in Israel since that huge acquisition? Yeah, so Waze is a very good illustration of what I meant by going directly to the consumer. Because Waze went to the consumer directly. They had a critical size of download to the end consumer. And uh, Google understood that this is a real strong way to uh, have a broader uh, uh, range of uh, clients and to have a killer application, what we call, in uh, any uh, of the iPhone or uh, Android phone that you would buy. So this is really what made the difference and what attracted us in Google. And now it, it, it attracts more entrepreneurs to come with ideas where they could sell directly to the end customer. Well, we'll look at it. Thank you very much for being with us on the program. Thank you for having me.